Well, despite sanctions and harsh rhetoric from Europe and the U.S., when it comes to bombing Iran, many Americans say they oppose the idea and the war would be a terrible mistake. RT's Gale Chichikan took to the streets of Washington to gauge opinion. While the Obama administration says war with Iran is still on the table and Washington hawks come up with even harsher statements, we could break the Iranian regime, I think, within a year. The majority of Americans may sense that their opposition to more wars, which is reflected in all recent polls, is being ignored in Washington. Residents of Charlottesville in Virginia took the matter to their city council, which passed the resolution calling on the federal government to end all its wars and avoid starting a new one with Iran. The biggest threat right now is that we will get jackknifed into a, a war against Iran, which would be a disaster for the people of Iran and for the people of Charlottesville and the rest of our country. David Swanson is the co-author of the resolution adopted by the Charlottesville City Council. But a popular will has always been against wars unless pushed and dragged by very manipulative propaganda. And they have been trying. Those who want war on Iran have been trying unsuccessfully for years to get the American people on board. I went out on the street to see how many people I would meet who want the U.S. to attack Iran. Do you think the U.S. should attack Iran? No, no, not at all. That's the last thing we should do. No, it's a terrible yeah, idea. That's, yeah, that's, that's one of the worst <laughs> ideas I think I, I've heard in a while. Yeah, that would be a horrible, yeah. Not because they're good guys, but because I, I, I think another war is just a, a horrific idea. But look on the Republican side. You've got certain ones over there now who, want to, who just can't wait to get us in war. It really does not look good at all. Do you think the U.S. should attack Iran? Yes. Just one out of more than a dozen interviewed. And it's not just people on the street, but many experts in the security field warn against starting a war with Iran, including a former acting director of the CIA. People keep saying that the military option is, is uh, still on the table. I think it would be a very bad option, the, the latter one to use. One of the big problems with Iran is that if you get into a uh, an open confrontation, a military confrontation, you risk a cycle of retaliation and response uh, with great difficulty seeing where the end point is. The question one may ask is, how does Washington continue talking wars with so many Americans against them? I have a hard time thinking of any example of any issue on which the conduct of our government in Washington corresponds with majority opinion. War is not some kind of exception. The public is against bailouts for bankers. The public is against subsidies for energy companies. The public is against wars. The public is against just about every decision made uh, on important issues in Washington. The fact of the matter is that majority of Americans don't want any new wars on their plate. Polls showed they were opposed to U.S. involvement in Libya as well, but the government went about it anyway. Many sense that the rift between what Americans want and what leaders do in the name of the American people is getting larger. I'm Ganesh Chakan reporting from Washington, RT.